I gotta say this because I, I can't stream because I'm so irritated by this. I, I, I just I've seen this so many times throughout my life. Allies, allies, they stand up for stuff, you know, for 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 our rights, you know, when it when it comes to racism when it comes to racism they'll stand up when when they know people people are watching when they know people are watching they'll stand up but then they realize that once they stood up for our rights and stood up against racism they start realizing that they're gonna have to stand up for that I don't know 24 7 all the time they're gonna have to keep saying it and keep saying stop saying that keep saying stop doing that stuff they're gonna have to keep doing it so after about three months let's yeah three months they get exhausted and that's okay that's it's okay to it is exhausting it's okay but when you start saying things like well i have this space so i don't have to have face politics or, or racism or or if let's, let's take the recent example ninja if you say something like in a long statement that it's not your job to correct that kind of stuff okay so yeah you're exhausted that's what that's what it is you're exhausted from having to face it but we're exhausted too and think about this though think about this i'm i'm gonna be 33 you know what? i'm i'm holding back on this you know i'm not, I'm not gonna hold back on this i'm going to say what i gotta say First, look at me. I want you. I want you to look at me without this. Look, look, look at me without all this on. Look, look. You see this? Look. Turn the light down too. Look. That's the light off. Look. You see this? I am black, black all over, and I have been this way since I've been born. I was born black. So, just think about this for a second. Think about this. I'm gonna be 33 this year. Now, as a kid, as a kid, I didn't know why I was so angry. Fighting people all the time, getting called nigger, fighting people, fighting with teachers, fighting with adults, saying what I had to say, getting told I shouldn't be saying all that. I know I'm going to get in trouble, but I'm still going to say it because I believed it was right. And I didn't know I was exhausted. A teenager fighting my what, what I thought were my friends, crying all the time, having to face all of this all the time in a bigger crowd, facing the teachers, the principals. Uh, trying to go to tutorials with people, but I can't go simply because I I look a little different than the white kids So I can't go I'm trying to be smart, right? And the principals don't even have our back No one had our back when it came to racist stuff fighting for it. The, one of the principals was black Didn't have our backs Didn't have our backs and, and now I, I know it's because he know what it would have done to him if he would have had our backs and said what happens if a teacher says something to me like I'm watching the fight there's not, I'm not even in the fight and they say something to me like oh I'm sorry you need to get out of here and I get mad and I'm like but everybody else is here and they say something to me like well don't go get your homies on me and I say that's racist and I go to, and I go to the principals and nothing happens because of my skin color and that's why they said it so yeah well let's get past all that let's get past all that I'm gonna be 33 this year. So so imagine, just just imagine saying the same things over and over and over for almost 33 years. It, it, I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. But you, but you wanna know what the difference is? You know what the difference is? You can say, it's not my job. It's not my job to address that. And you know what? You know what? It's, it's not your job. It's not your job. You don't have to address that. You don't have to address that because you don't have the capacity to take in all the racist, homophobic, transphobic stuff that we have to take in. But yeah, it's not your job. It's people like me. It's my job. It's my job to say something. No matter how exhausted I get, no matter how tired I get, no matter what happens, I will say something. I, if I see it, I will call it out. If I see it in the chat, I'm going to ban them. I'm going to say, don't do it. If I see it in person, I'm going to say something. 
regardless of how many people tell me not to say it because it's useless. I will say it. I have that capacity because I have to have that capacity. Because if I don't say it, I know that about 90% of the people around aren't going to say anything. So I have to say it because I don't have a choice because I am black and queer 24 seven. So if you're going to call yourself an ally, like last year, 2020, I didn't think anybody had our backs, but then people did. And we have so many allies and I loved it. I loved it. But it turns out people just don't have the capacity to handle it. So if you're going to call yourself an ally, just, just know you have to be 100% in. You got to be 100% in there. You got to know that you're going to have to fight this 24-7. And you can get exhausted. You can do that. That's fine. We're exhausted. But you can't just give up. You got to have our backs if you're going to be an ally. That's all I really want. Just have our backs. 100%. Anyway, I, I got to get to I need to stream. I'm sure there's a DPS out there that needs a healer or something. I'm like an hour and a half late. 